Hello everyone. Now I am going to discuss about the sequencing problem with two jobs with n missions by graphical method. This type of problem I will be discuss with the following example. Here the given data is having two jobs that is job 1 and job 2 and having more than two number of machines that is machine A, machine B, machine C, D and machine E. Here we have to find out the sequence of the machines which minimize the total elapsed time. This can be solved by graphical method by the following steps. Let's see the solution. So in the solution step one is step one is draw the horizontal and vertical axis on the graph sheet. Here horizontal axis represent the total machining time for job one and vertical axis is represent the total machining time for job two. So this is the step one. In the step one just to have to draw the horizontal and vertical axis on the graph sheet. Here horizontal axis represent the total machining time for the job one and vertical axis represent the total machining time for the job two. Next we have to go for the step two. Step two is the mark the machining time for job one and job two on the horizontal and vertical axis. Here machining time, machining time is 17 for job one and 20 for the job two. So we have to mark the 17 units at horizontal axis and mark the 20 units at vertical axis. First we complete the step 1 and step 2 on the graph sheet. Step 1 is draw the horizontal and vertical axis for job 1 and job 2. And next step 2 is mark the length of the horizontal axis is machining time of job 1 that is 17 units and mark the length of vertical axis is machining time of job 2 that is 20 units. See here we are completed step 1 and step 2. So now we can move to the step 3. So step 3 is we have to construct the various blocks starting from the origin. Moreover we have to pair the same machines until the end. Before going to the step 3 first we have to mark the sequence of machine with machining time on horizontal axis for machine job 1 and also mark the sequence of machines with machining times for job 2. Here job 1 sequence is here job 1 sequence is A, B, C, D, E and machining time is for job A is 3 units. So we have to mark the machine A at 3 units. Next is machine B is 4. So we have to mark the machining time for machine B is at 7 units. Why means previously we marked the machine A is 3 units. So we have to mark the machine B is at 7 units. Mean previously 3 units for the machine A. Next 4 units for the machine B. So total it will become the 7 units. So we have to mark the machine B at 7 units. Next machine C is 2 units. So we have to mark at 9 units. Mean 7 plus 2 at 9 units. Next for machine D is 6 units. 6 units. So previously we marked at 9 units. So 9 plus 6. So 15 units for the machine D. Last one is machine E having 2 units. Previously we marked at 15 units for the machine D. So we have to 15 plus 2. 17 units for the machine E. Similarly we have to mark the job 2 on vertical axis. See here given sequence for the job 2 is B, C, A, D and E and machining times are 5, 4, 3 and 6. 
so we have to mark at five units for machine b next we have to mark nine units for machine c y means five plus four previously we marked five units for machine b for machine c is four units mean five plus four so nine units at the nine we are marking for the machine c next we have to mark at 12 units for machine a 12 units at 12 units for the machine a and next we have to mark 14 units for machine d and we have to last we have to mark at 20 units for machine e so next we have to draw the horizontal and vertical lines at the end of the machining time for respective machines for job 1 and job 2 like this just we have to mark the horizontal and vertical lines at the end of the machining time for respective machines for example a b c d e for the job 1 and b c a d e sequence for the job 2 at the end of the machining time for respective machines for job 1 and job 2 have to draw the horizontal and vertical lines so next is we have to pair the so we have to pair the same machines for job 1 and job 2 like this see here machine a for job 1 and and machine a for job 2 pairing by shading the common area just to have to shade the common area for machine a for job 1 similarly machine a for job 2 see here just to have to shade the common area just to pairing the pairing the same machines for the different jobs what is the common area just we are shading like this so next is we have to pair the machine b for job 1 and job 2 next we have to pair the machine c for job 1 and job 2 next to machine d for job 1 and job 2 last one is machine e for job 1 and job 2 next step is draw the diagonal line with angle of 45 degrees with horizontal axis from origin to end point here just remember the key point is we have to draw a diagonal line with angle of 45 degrees to the horizontal axis the line should not cross the blocks so it moves diagonally if there is no blocks and if there is any blocks is there then the line should be moved horizontal and vertically that is depend on the blocks area see here first i am drawing the inclined line diagonal line with 45 degrees to the horizontal axis up to the three units now once again i draw the vertical line two units why means if you draw a, any inclined line or maybe horizontal line it so it cross the blocks so we have to add two units of vertical line so next after complete the block so here after complete the block once again i am drawing the diagonal line up to here so up to here directly i am drawing a diagonal line. why mean so it is not crossing the any any blocks so next once again we have to draw a vertical line up to here so why means if you draw a once again if you draw a diagonal line mean it cross the blocks so once again from here to here i am drawing a vertical line after that once again i draw a diagonal line up to here so here in between there is a no blocks so then directly i draw a diagonal line up to here after that one next one i draw a horizontal up to the end point see here here we have to observe that just we draw a diagonal line which having the 45 degrees with the horizontal axis from origin to end point if there is no blocks then a draw a, we draw a diagonal line and if there is any blocks are present we can draw a horizontal and vertical lines that is depend on the situation here one more thing you have to remember 
horizontal line indicates the job 1 is under process and job 2 is ideal and vertical line indicates the job 1 is ideal and job 2 is under process and diagonal line indicates the job 1 and job 2 both are under the process. So next we have to determine the total elapsed time for job 1 that is processing time for job 1 plus ideal time for job 1. In the data given processing time for job 1 is 17 and we know that vertical line represents the ideal time for job 1. Here length of vertical line is here 2 units and here 3 units. So total ideal time is 5 units for the job 1. So total elapsed time is 17 plus 5 total 22 units. Similarly, next we have to determine the total elapsed time for job 2. That is processing time for job 2 plus ideal time for job 2. Here in the given data processing time for job 2 is 20 and we know that horizontal line represents the job 2 ideal time. Here ideal time for job 2 that is horizontal line is 2 units. So, total processing time is 20 plus 2 so total 22 units so thank you